Hey, welcome to the Board Game Closet. My name's Jimmy, and today I'm taking a look at Blank Slate by USAopoly. Full disclosure, they sent this game to me in the mail, so take that for what you will. We played this game and absolutely loved it. Now, at the beginning of our reviews, we do a one-die rating. Buy it, play it, or hate it. This is a buy it game for me, and I was not expecting it at all. Total honesty, they sent me a box of games. This was probably one of them that I was like, okay, we'll check it out. And then I pulled this out because we were going on a family getaway for the weekend in the middle of a pandemic, and I said, let's take this game. It'll be easy to teach. Let's check it out. And everyone fell in love with this game. I bet we played this game 10 times over two or three days. We played it back to back to back until we were burnt out on it because we played it so much and uh, the family loved it. It's so easy to teach. In fact, we'll play a, a game of it right now. So this is what you get in the box. So you are going to get a rule book. You're going to get some of these dry erase markers and some blank slates. There you go. And then pretty simple, all that you're going to do is you're going to pull out a card. Let's do it this way so you can see it a little bit better. And you say C, and then there's a blank after it. Everybody takes their turn. And I don't know if you want to play along with me right now, but what would you put in the after? C, what? What would you put in there? And so I'm going to write mine, and we will reveal it. You got yours. Okay. Boom. I did seaweed. <laughs> and so basically we would go around the room and everybody would reveal which words that they had. And uh, if you match with only one person, so you and just one one other player, you get three points. And so that's what you're really aiming for is three. But if a whole bunch of people around the room did seaweed, then we would all score just one point each. And so you're trying to give a clue that you know will make a match. You don't want to do some random crazy thing that nobody's going to match with, but you don't want to do the most obvious. But here's the thing, the beauty of this game is you would do see, I don't know what your word was, seat, seat belt or C's, I don't know, whatever your, your other C thing was you will you will write something down and you're like this is so obvious i'm only going to get one point this time and then nobody does it at all and so you do that whole thing where you're like i can't believe nobody said this and you thought that it was so obvious and uh one cool cool thing about this game is when you're going around the room the way that we did it is one at a time we would reveal what our word was and so we would do seaweed and then we'd wait and we'd look around the room and then you'd see somebody that got it and then you're like nobody else yeah we got three points and you're so excited or the opposite would happen is you're like seaweed yeah we got three points and then somebody else will go well i did seaweed too and you're like oh man you ruined our three pointer we only got one point out of this thing and uh, it's just so much fun. It is a race to 25 points. I don't know if you saw that. It's a race to 25 points. And so we'd write everybody's name down on there. And uh, then we would just check it off when we're getting all the way up. And then we would see when we're down to 25 points and win. And there's not any other rules. There's not even a tiebreaker in the game. So the negatives to it would be there's no tiebreaker so we had to figure up our own tiebreaker we did it where we just kept playing until there was an outright winner and uh, so that made it go a couple rounds and then somebody else could catch up anyways that's our own house rule that's not part of the game but um, I just I know that this is a party game right and a lot of board gamers are anti party games they don't like that if you're looking for another game that's kind of like just one or code names this just plays so easy and it's so engaging for people to do it. I feel like if people will give this one a chance, check it out. This will just be a staple that you have on the shelf. It'll just be another one. Hey, we got like seven people. Let's try Blank Slate. You pull it off the shelf and in like a minute, you've taught the game, you're off and playing, you have a good time. And you will probably at the end of this one say, hey, let's play it again. And uh, that to me is a sign of a great game. It's easy. It's compact. The uh, Another negative might be that uh, if you run through the cards you're like oh we already did that one but they do they are two-sided and there's a ton of them in the box so you just say let's draw another one and so uh, I can't really think of many negatives to the game I think that it's great I think that you should pick it up this is a green go buy it game it's called blank slate